Hey everyone, back again at the channel. This time I'm with my friend Troy and Maureen is busy with Amari doing who knows what, but Troy came up um, to visit us at the community and we have a long history, Troy and I. Um, we went to college together, we're both teachers, um, we graduated City College. So I'm really excited that he's on the channel today because I'm going to ask him some questions about his impressions of the community and how he felt about his visit so so as Ruben stated my name is Troy we have been friends for a, a while now and Ruben has been speaking to me about this community for a while and this is my first visit and I plan to come back again it is very family oriented and it is a tight-knit community everyone here is friendly and when I say friendly I mean friendly <laughs> like, coming from the Bronx it, it's like a culture shock seeing how people here interact with each other and outsiders as well why would you say it's a culture shock like what's so different about it um, on my block where most people know me they don't even say good morning so, so, yeah, yeah. What did you think about what you saw um, at our worship service this morning? I, so, the worship ceremony is very interesting. Um, there was there were a lot of singing, and the harmony behind the singing was great as well. It's like everyone in the air is in a choir, so that was nice. Um, during the worship ceremony as well, there was a reading of a story and it was correlated into the bible verse that was being read for the day so that the children would understand from a from their aspect and also that the adults could understand from the bible verse aspect as well so one thing that i i think is very um good about that way of of church for me is that there's not just somebody preaching at me for hours and I know you um, have been part of and gone to a lot of other churches. So how did, how did like, how did the message? Do you think the message came to you in a better or worse? Or how is it like? Um, yeah. How how do you feel about how I guess preaching was done or how like the Bible was talked about there? I think it was um, spoke about in a way that was not egotistical or like I'm forcing this down your throat like I am a messenger of God you should listen to me it was done in like a more community setting where, like this is the topic that we're speaking about at hand these are the various ways that we're viewing the topic at this time and you use your own discernment to implement it yeah all right um what else oh so you stopped um I said before we're both teachers you stopped by our school what did you think about what you saw of how um, we educate kids here I've, I've looked at some of the students work and it's it's fantastic like you have and it's a it's a credit to you as well as a teacher man you have 10 year olds that are writing like they're 15 16 18 like it's it's very it's, it's great that's that's all I can say is, is mm -hmm. really like... What were some differences you noticed um, between working in the public schools and what you saw um, here at the Bruder Rock? I think here it's, it's more programmed so that the students have a greater chance of succeeding, whereas in like public school it's just like we're trying to give you some information and hope that you catch on to it, whereas here is more of an opportunity through programs to actually succeed at what they're doing. Nice. Um, let's see, what else? Any other, like, any anything else that just, like, stuck out to you or that was interesting to you that you noticed? They have a high school here, bro. <laughs> it's Hogwarts High School. <laughs> the, the high school is great. The high, the high school is dope. Yeah, so I took him over to, to see the Mount Academy, which is the high school that the Bruderhof runs. And I think you were impressed by it. it yeah. It's very it's impressive. impressive. It's impressive. It's impressive. Yeah, and we try to, 
I think education is a huge mission of our church, and uh, we put a lot of time and effort into that. Um, so that's why <clears throat> that was like evident to you that it's a family-oriented, community-based situation. Cool. So, would you rec would you you said you'd be coming back? But would you recommend like other people come and see this? Yeah. Or? It's an experience that I think a lot of people should see because I know we're used to how the dominant society in America and around the world goes about stuff. However, what you would see here will like totally blow your mind. Mm -hmm. it, will, it will totally sway you. It's a great experience. Cool, so thanks a lot. Um, I know it kind of takes a lot to get on camera, so I appreciate it. And we appreciate it. And um, seriously, if anyone else wants to spend a weekend, just let us know or a day. Um, everyone's welcome. So thank you, Troy. Thank you, man. <laughs> All right. See you.